Hello and welcome Mac Gamers back to another video on Mac Gaming Revolution. Today I'll be covering how you can play both Doom and Doom 2. The original ones, by the way, from 1993, I believe? I don't know. The Just the old ones from the 90s. So first up, you're going to want to go to this website called zdoom.org. I'll have this website linked in the description. Next, what you're going to want to do is go over here to this downloads tab. It should just look like this, and you'll just click downloads. Next, you are going to want to download this application right here, GZ Doom for Macintosh. Now, essentially what this is, is basically an engine rewrite for Doom, similarly to what was going on with Half-Life. This basically rewrites, is sort of, yeah, it improves the engine and makes uh, the game basically playable on modern operating systems like Mac OS. Go down to this GZ Doom and click right here, Macintosh. That'll download a zip file. While that zip file is downloading, you're going to want to buy a copy of Doom and or Doom 2. The place to get this is from GOG.com. Once on GOG.com, simply go over to this little search bar here and then just look up Doom and these here, Doom 2 right here, and Doom 1993 are the Doom games that you want, because you're going to need the the, uh, the game files in order to play um, GZ Doom. Once you've downloaded these both from, um, from GOG, you're actually going to want to extract the game files through the GOG installer, because it'll just provide you an installer file. It won't actually just straight up give you the files. So in order to do this, you're going to need a thing like Whiskey or Crossover to essentially open up um, the application. I'd recommend Whiskey. I've made a video about this. Um, I'll have this on the side card that'll appear in your upper right of the screen right now, and I'll also have it linked in the description. You're going to want to click that to figure out how to extract the game files. Once you've purchased a copy of Doom and downloaded the files from this website, zdoom.com, or zdoom.org, sorry, you'll have this file right here, gzdoom 4-11-3 macOS. You're going to want to double click on that to unzip it and get this file right here. You're going to want to take this and just drag it right into your applications folder. Next, what you're going to want to do is open up the gzdoom application. Just simply double click it. You'll be then met with this screen right here. Now you're going to need to provide the doom wad files. So essentially, yeah, you won't have these here, doom2 and doom. In order to get these WAD files in here, what you're going to want to do is simply push this go button right here and then push down option to get this library option. Click on library and you'll have this screen right here. You're going to want to go to application support and then simply search up GZ Doom. Oh, whatever you don't, the capitalization doesn't really matter. So yeah. Once you're in there, you'll find this file right here, GZ Doom. If you don't see it, simply create a file named GZ Doom, all lowercase. I, I don't know why I didn't upcase. Just make it all lowercase like this. And then you're going to want to drag and drop your um, Doom 2 and Doom WAD files that you'll have gotten from the GOG offline installer. Once you're done with that, simply refresh the application. You can uh, just like quit and go back into it. And then you'll see either the Doom or Doom 2 or both, whichever you have, um, WAD files. So you can just simply click on that, click OK, and there you go, you got Doom. So the benefits of playing this through GZ Doom is not only is it the only way to play it, <laughs> but it also adds some nice modern enhancements, like, you know, better, like, the, uh, the looking, like you have a full, you also have the Y axis. Normally in Doom, in the original Doom, you could only look on the x-axis, but this you can look on the y-axis too. Stuff like that, like better, I think you can jump, I don't. I didn't think you could jump in the original Doom and crouch, there's just better movement options, it plays a lot smoother, it plays really nice, and yeah, overall it's just a way better experience. Not only that, it's also got full mod support, you can play any Doom mod, that's right, any Doom mod on this, like through GZ Doom on your Mac, so that's pretty cool. And I think there was even some multiplayer stuff, too, that uh, I haven't tried getting it working, but I think it's possible. Don't take my word on that. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you liked today's video and stuff, and let me know as well if you have any questions. I'll try my hardest to answer them all. And also, I wanted to say right before I leave, thank you guys all so much for now, like, what, 121 subscribers? Like, holy crap, this channel is basically quadrupled in size over the, like, past few like weeks and stuff. It's absolutely insane. All the support you guys have been shown and stuff and all your kind comments and everything. And yeah, just thank you guys all so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.